should be treated the way that I have been treated since I have come back to Northwest Tennessee simply because of the seeds of division, the seeds of of uh, this world conspiracy towards trying to shut down the will of God. No person should have to have went through what my brother and I and what my brothers, the whole family, went through. Somebody should have raised a red flag to the way that my biological father, James Robert Jackson, was treating his family, and they should have medicated him to the point that we didn't have to worry about him flying off the handle and becoming so brutal in calling him a nickname by the name of Grizzly. The same way with this Josh Johnson guy that I believe has been in the military, and he's probably got the same type of of uh, sickness as my father had. And once more, if this individual is doing this to me, who's to say that he won't do it to their neighbor or to their loved ones or to them themselves? He's liable to turn on them. Because you don't treat civilians in the civilian life the same as you do whenever you're in the hot zone towards treating the enemy. Okay. Let's say, for some reason, I am enemies with this Josh Dotson because he has found out my ideology in what I believe and how I believe it. That still does not give him the right to infringe upon my rights towards me having the right to go down one particular road to take a shortcut to another road and me got to worry about possibly getting my windows blown out of my automobile or getting some sort of bodily harm done to myself or even death simply because I had forgotten about this maniac that's down this road, that's got this sickness, and I drive down the road at 9 o'clock at night, and I'm going as safe, precautious as I can. I'm not playing no music. I'm, I'm not uh, got my windows down. I don't have no, no, no uh, bright lights going. I didn't even have my Santa Claus plugged up. And all of a sudden, I worry about total hell busting loose. This is what I've been dealing with. If it wasn't, de- if I wasn't dealing with somebody like this, that was bold enough to pick up a gun, I've been dealing with people like a crazy old man by the name of Donald Ridgeway, or um, other people that has come out there and sawed down our signs and violated and 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 uh, uh, just basically just vandalized our property and if it and if it hasn't been this year it's been the prior years before that of one person coming down there raising mortal hell basically challenging me to a pissing contest one right after another and I'm going to say it's at least two dozen at least two dozen maybe even more out of, let's say, between the residents and and hop in and the residents in Sidonia, let's just top it off at a, at an even number of 150 people. 150 people in a neighborhood, a neighborhood within a five mile radius of each other. It's actually two neighborhoods that make the one. Of course, you got people that live in between there. But let's say there's 150 to 200 people. There's at least two to three dozen people that for some reason thinks that they can take it upon themselves and come out and basically do a lynching because they feel like that they got a right to lynch somebody. 
Or they got a right to intimidate or infuriate somebody. Or they got a right to bring grief and remorse to somebody or try to run them out of their own homestead. These are the people that are on drugs. These are the people that need God. And these are the people that the world needs to look down upon. Because as far as I am concerned, they're sick. And the people that hasn't been involved in these activities, but have watched and knowingly know that these activities have been going on, and they haven't picked up the telephone and called up the judge, or called up the sheriff, or called somebody up pertaining to knowing that these type of activities have been going on since I've moved back there in the past four years, they're just as guilty. The churches, the preachers, the old people, the young people, the children, they're all guilty of the same measure. Father, eternal God, I know that this is not a good time to bring up this type of indignation pertaining to likes and dislikes of an individual such as myself. I pray, God, for my enemies. I pray, Lord, that you will bring chastisement upon to them or that you will bring some sort of redemption to the point that they will will uh, become submissive to thy Holy Spirit in acknowledging that what that they have been a part of has been totally wrong. Wrong not only in your eyes, but wrong also in the eyes of the law. I pray, God, for the various deputies that have come out there and have either not done their jobs or they have been judgmental towards wanting to blame me. And the whole time, I have not been instigating this on. I have not been the one that told somebody to cut down my sign and to violate and to vandalize our own property. We've got a group of people out there that are sick, that need you, Lord. I just pray, God, that there will be a mighty, mighty movement as far as a revival that will escalate into a revolution, not only here in America, but throughout all the nations to heal them in thy holy will. In Jesus, your holy son's name, I ask it to thee. And amen and amen. And thanks again. And shalom. Good luck to all of us in, fin in finaling up this rap in the Golden Jubilee. And may God have mercy on all of us. And may God bless the United States of America. Thanks again. Shalom. Shalom to Yahweh and to his precious son, Yeshua.